Ja, schau rein. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angel, and today's video is gonna be about, you guessed it, Disney ears. If you want to learn more about my Disney ears collection and how many I have and what I have, keep watching. Of course, we start with the original mini bow. This one has the black fluffy ears and the red and white puffy polka dot bow. Similar to that one, I have the sequin mini bow. It has literally everything sequin. Cause you know, who doesn't love shiny, sparkly sequin stuff? And just like that, we have more sequins. This one is the pink mini bow. It is like a combination of these two. It has sequin ears and a pink and white puffy polka dot bow. This one we actually have not used yet. It is the, I believe, the Disneyland 60th celebration. So this one has black sequin ears with a kind of a blue tint. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a blue tint on the sequins. And the bow is actually neither um, fluffy nor sequin. It's kind of like a foam back and it has a lot of jewels so it's very sparkly when you shine it in the light or if you walk around in it it's very blinding this one is the pink sequin ears and tiara of none other than sleeping beauty so it has a little tiny foam gold sparkly tiara with a picture of aurora herself and then we have another princess. I wonder if you guys can guess because you can barely see the picture. But it is Snow White. Now she has a veil with gold embroidery, a pink uh, fluffy textured bow, picture of herself obviously, and her sleeves, her iconic sleeves with sequin accents. These are the classic princess ears. They have the fluffy pink ears and a sort of holographic tiara, but it has hearts on it and silver embroidery, so it's cute. And it has a dark pink veil. And then we have the purple and green ears. These kind of go with either Ariel or Maleficent um, kind of theme. They do come out in Halloween, however, so maybe it's Halloween theme. And it's all sequin, purple sequin ears and a green sequin bow. And the last pair of ears that I have is one of my favorite ears. It is Christmas themed ears. They have um, the typical Christmas lights you'd find on somebody's house. But the coolest part of these ears is that at night, when it's kind of dark, you can turn them on just to show them like this. Isn't that cool? I think these are one of the coolest ears that I've ever found or have gotten in my collection. And yeah, I like wearing them a lot when it's nighttime in the Christmas time. Super cute. They are battery operated though. I don't really know when these are gonna die but there is a switch that is not very visible in the back so you can turn them off and on all day long. And it does light up on both sides. It's pretty sick. Moving on to the next part of my ear collection. Um, oh, this is my sister's ears actually. Everyone wants this pair of ears. They are the rose gold ears. They have rose gold sequins and a kind of just a rose gold bow, I guess. 
it's not sequin, it's not fluffy, there's no texture on it, it's kind of just sparkly. And I know everybody loves this color, and I don't think she plans on using these soon because just look at how pretty they are. So next up on my collection list are actually a pair of hats. Um, this one is the typical red dad hat with a black and white silhouette of Mickey on it. And then this one is the blue Mickey hat with a um, navy blue silhouette of Mickey and it has the initials MM on the side with 28 in the back. This one is the classic mini snapback hat. And I remember when these things were huge. Everybody had a pair of these just because it had, you know, a classic snap back back. It has Disneyland on the back and a signature of the queen herself, Minnie Mouse. And then this one is Ariel themed, if you couldn't guess that already. Um, it has a purple clamshell, a starfish, a sequin blue starfish on the top, and pearls because, you know, what mermaid doesn't love her pearls? I usually don't wear it with the string because it kind of feels like it's choking me. So a life hack that I like to do is use hair pins. I just put it on my head, stick it on the back or in the front on the sides, and it usually stays for the whole day. So if you don't like how this feels on your chin, it's a little life hack for you. And last but not least, I have my Peter Pan hat. So I got this one at the Mad Hatter's um, hat store um, next to Alice in Wonderland spinning teacups. Um, I have my name embroidered on it and has a picture of Peter because what kid doesn't want Peter Pan on the Peter Pan hat and it comes with a red feather and you can detach it for storing purposes. Alright guys, so that's it for my Disney ears collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to collect Disney ears of your own. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!